first time he has been the number one Bantamweight contender, but most would argue this is a totally different beast than the man who arrived in a championship setting prior. Your thoughts on the number one contender coming in here tonight? You know, when you get here, you find an opportunity to try and become the man. But if it doesn't work out, you got to find your way back. That's exactly what this guy did. Not many believe that he would find his way back to this championship. He has, but now he understands that this will be the last chance. The last chance to become the champion. He cannot miss this opportunity. It's all or nothing for this guy right. walking into the opposite. As some might say, don't be Russell Westbrook, right? Don't yeah, get yeah. to the NBA yeah, Finals you gotta, one time. You gotta, you gotta get, get there twice. You gotta get there twice. out of the great nation of Georgia, repping Team Sarah Longo there on the northeastern side of the U.S. May Rob Dwalish Willie. He's been on the championship course for a long time. He's got a big fight in front of him tonight. All he does is win, John, and he wins in a certain way. He pressures you and he breaks you down. I have seen so many great bantamweights fight for Rob Dwalish Willie, and you can see they start to lose, not only physically, but in the spirit. He attacks you at a level that's higher than just your body. He's a great wrestler. He will put a pressure pace on you that not many people can stay with. And I'm not sure that any athlete has ever muted Jose Aldo's offense as much as Dwalish Willie did back in 2022. May Rob back under the bright lights tonight. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Herb Dean, third Green party fight. in the octagon Green. tonight. Good. All right, we are ready to get this round underway. And you know, Marab Dwellis really is a guy who probably doesn't need 60 seconds between rounds. He is the machine. There may be no more appropriate nickname in the sport. It's offense in bunches. He's one of the more offensive fighters in the sport. And uh, wouldn't be surprised, depending on how long the fight goes, to see north of 15 or 20 takedown attempts here tonight. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control, where he will have no shortage of options. All right, side control now. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Dwalish Willie. Another ground and pound strike lands. And now he's got the back. Dwalish Willie's in half court. Oh, in the mouth. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Nicely done. Dwalish Willie's back to the side control now. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Wallace wins a strike attempt there as Dwalish 
Willis has got full mount now. Working for the submission once again. He's fighting. He wants this very bad. Arm and very tight. Oh, that's got to be it. I don't know. That's in so deep. Oh, my goodness. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, great ground shot there. And that one opened him up. hard to get back up again, and he's there. Big knee there. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. He's hurt bad. There you go. There you go. Drops down inside the now closed of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and ball. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round on the way. There's a big right hand coming in. That punch no good. so that he doesn't get finished. Oh. Able to land with the body there with the left kick. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Not being just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. Oh, he passes that. Dwellis Willis looking for that arm triangle. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. You gotta be kidding me. He's out. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Well, as many expected, his grappling has been very strong thus far. The takedowns, the ground control, he is truly the total package. It's one thing to take your opponent down. It's one thing to control him, as we have seen him do over the course of this fight. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, that is going to do it. That's got to be it. And there it is. Takes the judges out of it. Gets the finish. What a performance. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening. And then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 13 seconds of round number two for the winner by submission. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world.
So there he is, all smiles, the undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion of the world. That is the way he came in. That is the way he goes out after turning in a huge submission win here tonight. And now all that's left to do is to celebrate the effort. You see